Let's turn this image into this in as different kinds of ways. So first, let me duplicate this for you by clicking this button, duplicate, and then I'll show you the first way. Go to colors, go to U saturation, and then just drop down the saturation. And here we have our first black and white image. Another way how to do this is by going to colors and then go to saturation and to drop the saturation. Here we have another black and white image. Then we can go to colors and we can go over here, desaturate, where we have four different options. So we've got color to gray, which gives it this artistic kind of look. Now, if you increase the samples, in this case to 12, you see that this yields a great result. We've got a nice grainy face. It's very characteristic and it really makes this stand out. Now, a different way how to do this is to by going to colors and then desaturate and use the desaturate option. Where you can choose luminance, you can choose luma, and there's a slight difference between those. We've got HSL, which is the lightness. We've got the average, and then we've got the value. Then another way is by going to desaturate and mono mixer. Now, this is actually my most favorite one. I've made a video on Darktable explaining what these three channels do. I'll be sure to link it up here. But I like to increase the reds and let's drop down the greens a bit and increase the blues. This gives it a nice contrasty look. Like I said, this is my most favorite way to do it. And this is also the last way how to change your image into a black and white photo using GIMP.